Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Dorn. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying fractions. By the way, this is part 3 of multiplying fractions that we have done. Because I noticed that there are many students and even parents who are searching for this topic on YouTube. So I want to help them to ma refresh their mind and for them to have a deeper understanding in multiplying fractions. Without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, in my own opinion, for me, multiplying fractions is much easier compared to adding and subtracting fractions because we can perform the operation na multiplying fraction though magkaiba yung denominators. So, refresh muna natin yung ating mga mind. In multiplying fractions, you're just multiply or you just need to multiply the numerator to the other numerator. So, for example, 12 and 15. Multiply mo lang sila. And then another thing is i-multiply mo lang denominator sa kapwa niya denominator. Okay? So ganun lang yung process ng ating multiplying fraction. So start na tayo. We have here the two fractions, 12 over 9 times 15 over 18. So as you can see, you need to multiply these numbers. 12 times 15. What is 12 times 15? Multiply lang natin 12 times 15. So 5 times 2, that will give you 10. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1, that is 6. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. So kapag ilad mo to is, the answer is 180. Okay, so we have here 180. And then, after that, you need to multiply 9 times 18. So you have 9 times 18, so 9 times 8 is 72. So you have here 2, 7, 9 times 1 is 9 plus 7, 16, 162. Now, here's the problem. Uh, dito ah, yung ginawa natin, that is correct. But here's the problem. Look at the numbers. The numbers are 180 over 162. Kung mapansin nyo, napakalaki ng numbers. Tama? Now, ituturo ko sa inyo is, instead of multiplying the numerators, ng agad-agad at yung denominators ng agad-agad. So, para ma-minimize natin yung number at hindi na tayo mahirapan mag-simplify ng fraction, why not na i-simplify muna natin yung numbers or mag-cancel out muna tayo before tayo mag-multiply. Example, napakita ko sa inyo, you have 12. Ang 12, we can factor out 12 as 3 times 4 or pwede rin naman 6 times 2. And then yung 9 natin, we can factor out 9 as 3 times 3. Tama? While yung 15 natin can be cancelled out as 3 times 5. Over yung 18 natin, that is 9 times 2. Pwede yan, di ba? O kaya, pwede rin naman 6 times 3. As you can see, meron tayong mga pwede ma-cancel out. Tandaan na, ang pwede lang natin makancel out yung pareha sa number sa numerator at sa denominator. Example ito. You have here 6. You can cancel out this one at pwede lang natin makancel. Tama? You can also cancel out this one at ito pwede lang ito. So, look at the numbers. The remaining numbers are 2 and 5. Sir, what if ito yung gusto namin makancel out? Sir, pwede po ba ito? Yung 3, yung 3 dito, Saka dito, yes, pwede po. So, look at the numbers. You have 2 times 5, it will give you 10. And then 3 times 3, it will give you 9. So, imagine, compared to 180 over 160-something sa 10 over 9 natin. Diba? Much simpler at mas mababa yung numbers natin. So, we can have this answer, 10 over 9, or simply... We can convert it into mixed number like 1 and 1 over 9. Here are the possible answers in multiplying 12 over 9 times 15 over 18. So, ang tanong dito, sir, paano nyo nakuha yung 1, over 9, 1 and 1 over 9? So, yan lang natin to. You have here 10 divided by 9. It is 1. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract natin this is 1. Yung 1 na to is galing sa inyong quotient. Tapos yung 9, 
eto si denominator at yung 1 sa inyong numerator siya yung galing sa inyong remainder okay so let's move on with another example so as you can see we have here item number 2 3 and 1 fifth times 10 over 6 so basically kapag meron kang mixed number sa mga bata or sa mga parents na nandyan kapag meron kang mixed number you need to convert it into improper fraction yun yung proper way tandaan na any mixed number na kailangan nyo multiply, kaya nga naka improper fraction siya. So, para yung process natin? Multiply, add. So, 3 times 5, that will give you 15. Plus 1, again, 3 times 5, 15 plus 1, that will give you 16. And then, copy mo yung denominator, over 5. Times 10 over 6. Ngayon, sir, pwede na ba tayong multiply? Yes, we can multiply 16 times 10. Tapos, 5 times 6. But, ang turo ko sa inyo kanina, if kaya natin i-simplify yung number or mag-cancel out, gawin natin. So, as you can see, yung 16 natin can be factored out as 8 times 2. Pwede, sir, pwede na ba siya nga, no? 4 times 4? 4 times 4. Ang inisip ko kasi, dapat may makansal tayo yun. Kaya ang pinili ko ay yung 8 times 2. Then divided by 5. Tapos yung 10 natin can be factored out as 5 times 2. And then yung 6, that is 2 times 3. Okay? So as you can see, we can cancel out. Ito pala. Sorry. Ito 5. Pwede tanggal. At yung 2 pwede rin. So the remaining terms are 8 and 2. 8 times 2, that will give you 16. And then 3. Pwede na yan. Pero convert natin sa, improp, sa mixed number. 16 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract natin, that will give you 1. So pwede natin maging mixed number dito is 5 and 1 over 3. These are the possible answers. Okay? Now let's move on with our item number 3. Ito na. Ito pa isa. We know that we can factor out 14 as 7. Ito pwede ito maging 2. Dito maging 3. Medyo nag-skip tayo yung process. Alam natin na yung 14 saka 21, both of them are divisible by... Uh, meron silang factor ng 7. So we have 2 7s sa 14. So in eliminate sa 14, ginawa kong 2. At yung 21 naman, meron tayong set, tatlong 7s sa 21. So, kaya meron mo yung tatlo. And then, we know that 20 and 15 are both having the, the factors of 5. So, meron tayong tatlong 5 sa 15. At meron tayong apat na 5 sa 20. So, those are the numbers. And multiplying them, it will give you 2 times 4. That is 8. And then, 3 times 3. That will give you 9. This is the answer for item number 3. Nag-skip ako ng step para matutunan niyo yung mas mabilis na process. Okay? Pero, you can also use the long method. Okay? Let's move on with our next example. Ito na. As you can see, the two fractions are mixed numbers. Convert mo na natin. Times, multiply, add. Multiply, add. So, 1 times 5, that is 5, plus 2, 7 over copy your denominator which is 5 times 2 times 4 it will give you 8 plus 3 11 again ulitin ko lang ha 2 times 4 8 plus 3 11 over 4 so ngayon meron naman tayo pwede makancel out wala wala tayo pwede makancel out makancel out yan so directly multiply natin yung, yung numerator that will give us 77 at yung 5 times 4, that will give you 20. Ngayon, meron tayong proper fraction na 77 over 20. You can have that 77 divided by 20. So, meron tayong 3. Then, 60 to. Subtract natin, that will give you 17. So, the equivalent fraction, mixed number of 77 over 20 is none other than 3 and 17 over 20. These are the possible answers na pwede nyo ibigay sa mga teacher. So, 
I hope now within our four examples, you already know how to multiply fractions and mix numbers. And sana sa mga natuto sa ating video, ay makita ko ang inyong comment about this video tutorial kung ano mas gusto niyo yung uh, long method o yung may cancellation method. And if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para dito ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Don. Marami marami salamat. Bye bye. Right, guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gone. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook. So, I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So, right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.